So not long ago, I showed you the unboxing of our Electron Home EV Charger. This is a 40 amp level two. I can plug this in in my garage and charge my Nissan Aria overnight. Any electric car essentially can be charged overnight. That's pretty exciting. Why did I choose to go this way? Well, um, I'm not gonna call myself a cheapskate, but I am pretty thrifty and I don't love the idea of spending thousands of dollars on a wall box to charge my car when all I really need is a very affordable solution like the Electron portable charger. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like inside. I'm gonna take it apart, I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna install it in my garage and then I'm gonna plug in my Nissan Aria and show you just how affordable it can be to charge an electric car at home. So in my garage over here is my junction box and my level two wall outlet. So I'm lucky to have my junction box right here. Uh, it was nice of the contractors when they built this house to put it here. If you don't have a junction box in your garage, there is power to your garage. Some electricians might need to bring power, more power into your garage to install a level two. I've heard people talk about that. This is the level two outlet. So it does look similar to a dryer outlet. It's not exactly the same. It has different, on a dryer outlet, this is probably round. So it is a different configuration, but this was purchased at Home Depot. And this is something that you can purchase at a home improvement store or an electrical supply outlet store. Um, it's really standard. It costs about $10. To have the electrician install that costs about $150, which is really just the uh, hourly price of hiring an electrician. So nothing super fancy in having this installed. It might have cost a little bit more if he had to run line from a different part of the house to here. So I was pretty lucky with that, but it didn't take him an hour. He charged me an hour, but it didn't take him an hour. I would feel pretty confident unless there's a lot of work to do. $150 is probably a very good amount to expect to pay to have one of these installed. And now I need to figure out where I'm actually going to store the cord. So for now, I'm, I'm inclined to just leave it here like this. Uh, not the most elegant solution. I can get a, uh, a hook. Again, I'll go back to Home Depot and I can get a hook to hang it on right here on the wall. I think that's what I'm going to do. And then I can hang it like that. But the most important thing is I now have my plug and I'm gonna go plug in my car. Now you can see I have pulled the Nissan Aria into my garage, and here is my cord here on the wall. I am gonna go get a hanger for it. I definitely wanna, uh, don't wanna leave it hanging there on the top of the outlet here. It's very strong, so I don't feel like it's gonna hurt it, but it's still not the most secure uh, location. But now I get to plug in my car and charge it at a level two charger. Now with this car, because of the position of the power port, power door, I definitely did have to uh, position the car, back it into the garage. I could pull it in forward as well. I would have to get the cord all the way around. To leave it in the driveway and charge it wasn't really a possibility. The front end of the car would have to be inside the garage door anyway. But it's fine, the car fits. Uh, it's a little tight in here and I'm gonna show you that the car is charging and I'll show you how I know that. And so we can look at the terminal here and see that it's the green is flashing, that means it's charging, red means we have power, blue means it's connected, green means it's 
charging. If there's a yellow, that means there's a problem. We can confirm that it's charging with this blue flashing light right here on the dash of the Nissan Aria. And then we can additionally go over here and check in the uh, driver display. So we'll also see over here a flashing green light, and that means that it's charging. And at level two, it will take an estimated three hours to complete the charge and get to 100% on the Nissan Aria. And then there's the last piece of it, unplugging the car. And you would think that that would be easy, <laughs> it's not. There's a process to it. So once I push the button on the top of this, it does send us a message. I can see it's still charging here on the box. I see a red flashing light there on the dashboard. And what that means is that it's sensing that the, the current is disrupted. But I still can't pull this up. I was able to pull this thing out. On the power door here, it shows a sequence to lock. If you have trouble, lock, unlock, and then try to remove the charger. Pushing this button though, did a great job. Now I will say when the power was not connected before I turned the power on on the wall, it did not want to release. I did have to do a manual release by unlocking the car using the fob. So I locked it, I unlocked it, and then I was able to pull this out. So this is, a, it's a simple release, but it is software based and it's not gonna wanna do something that it thinks is unsafe or that might hurt your car or might potentially steal power. So there is a protocol in place. That's something to keep in mind. If you ever have trouble pulling the cord out of a, a port on a car, and I know that's something that people struggle with, there's always a solution. Sometimes it's a button here, sometimes it's a button here, sometimes it's a lock on lock function, but there's always a solution uh, because they do, they are designed <laughs> to come out pretty easily once you've connected them. And with the Electron, it was pretty easy. And then I'll just pop the lid back on and put it back on the wall. Like that. And we got errands to do, so let's go. I think the first errand is gonna be to go and get a J-hook for my cord because that is not a solution. So I went on Amazon and I ordered this. This is a Electron J plug. This is a plug holder for my Electron charger cord. It was $18, so not super expensive. And actually right in line with what I would have paid for uh, a J hook to hold a garden hose or something like that at, the, at Home Depot or Lowe's. So I ordered this, it comes in Let's see, two parts. So here is the J hook. It's a metal piece and it will attach to the wall. And then it also has this. And that is a, a part that attaches to the top. And this is where I'm actually gonna put in the, uh, the top of the charger cord, so the plug. As I would plug it into the car, I can plug it into the wall and we'll actually go like this and it'll be nice and secure and right there on the wall so I can just pull it out. I don't have to uh, finagle with it. And then also in the package is a bag with the screws and anchors for installing on my garage wall. So let's install it. So I'm gonna put it right here on the wall and give the cord a little room to uh, hang on the wall there and then I'll easily be able to access my uh, charger cord as well. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark my spots. So there, 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 and there. Now I can drill and add my anchors. And I'm lazy, so I'm just going to add anchors using the screwdriver. It's really soft drywall, so you don't really need a lot. And then I'm going to hammer in those anchors. So I've got my anchors and screws right there. And so I can just pop them in like that. Oh, and they gave me, they gave me an extra one. Thank you, Electron. Okay, so that one's easy. That one's easy. It's always the one you don't expect that's gonna be the problem. Let's. 
luckily they gave me an extra one in case I ruined that one. And then with those embedded nicely, I'm going to add my screws. Now this is gonna be a little trickier. So I'm gonna do two screws at a time. Well, they did give me five screws. <laughs> How about that? So I'm just putting these pieces together. So I just take this single piece and I'm going to put the screws through the J hook and then here and right into there. And let's drill them in. Lightly. And then let me add the other two. Now, let's hang the cord. Now I'm ready to hang the cord. So I'm gonna, this is a big unwieldy, thick cord. It has a lot of its own <laughs> ideas as to uh, what this should look like. So I think I'm gonna hang it in this way and let the cord come up from the I want it to hang as neatly and flatly as possible. And if I were to get the longer cord, I would definitely have room for that as well. Okay, so it might take some finagling to get it to lay a little flat, but it's not bad. And it's much neater and much nicer than having it lay on the floor or have it cause a mess. And if it's on the floor, you never know uh, what might decide to build a nest there when you're not using it and that kind of thing. So it's really nice to have this all neat and installed and ready for me to charge my next electric test car. And if I don't want to have that, I can just hang it down there too. I like it. So good. It's so good.